Hello, the front that has brought quite a lot of rain for some of us through the day today will gradually sink its way southwards through this evening and overnight. Quite windy conditions accompanying that front, but there is some drier weather pushing in through the latter part of the night. This is how it's looking through this evening and overnight. The rain gradually starting to push its way southwards. We have this warning for the strength of wind, 50, possibly 60 mile per hour gusts. So by tomorrow morning's rush hour, there are likely to be some impacts in places. We're likely to see branches, possibly even one or two trees down, lots of leaves blocking drains, and also a good deal of surface water around. Temperatures overnight as a result of all that cloud and rain holding up fairly well, but just starting to turn a little bit cooler from the north. So it's a windy start to the day tomorrow and a damp one for some of us, but the front fairly quickly clearing the far south and already this much drier, brighter weather following on behind. It will be a breezy day, bright and breezy, with a few showers, especially around northern and western coasts. Temperature-wise, somewhere between 13 and 16 degrees for most of us. However, given the strength of that northwesterly wind, it will feel a little bit cooler. Now through Thursday evening and into the night, we continue to see some showers feeding through on that northwesterly wind, but actually a good deal of dry weather around on Thursday night and into Friday. And that means it's going to be a chilly one, noticeably cold as we start the day on Friday. These are the sorts of figures we can expect in the countryside. So looking at Friday itself, after a cold start, it's looking like a dry, bright and crisp day for the vast majority. Although we will start to see cloud thicken ahead of this weather front, which brings more unsettled weather for the weekend.